this is Ayako from Tokyo Creative Moms. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make Mizuhiki. What you need is Mizuhiki cords. Um, ideally, different colors, but three of them. I just have today red, white, and red to make it easier. And then you need glue. Um, ideally, something that has quite, you know, small tip. So it's quite easy to glue onto some small spaces. And then you also need a scissors. Ideally something that is quite small, so it's again easier to cut. And then two wooden pegs. Um, these are 3.5 centimeter um, long. Uh, actually it's nicer to have the wooden pegs because Mizuhiki is very delicate. So you wouldn't want to make um, leave mark using the metal pegs. Okay, can you hold the Mizuhiki? Make sure that the beginning is in line and also the end is not too far. It doesn't have to be exact, but not, you know, we wouldn't want one of them to be too long or something like that. And then first, um, when it first comes out of the packaging, um, it's quite tight. It's, it's quite tough. So we would like to make it quite smooth by smoothing it just like that using a, you know, a back of your thumb. We are just making it a bit smooth, just like this. Okay, now we are ready. And here is the most important part, um, which is to hold the Mizuhiki in the right place. So we would want it to be one third, one third, and then one third. So we wouldn't want um, one part to be too, um, you know, we don't want to be holding it like this. We don't want to be holding it like this. And it's important that you hold it one third and one third. And um, books don't tell you, but after teaching so many people, I figured that this is actually so important to start right. So then afterwards, you just have to follow. Um, okay. So you hold it one third, one third. First, we are making a teardrop shape, just like this. Make sure that the right hand side comes on top, comes on top. You have a teardrop shape. Holding it with your right hand side quite tight, we actually want it to be more, you know, easier to see because uh, how Mizuhi goes wrong is um, when the colors and the codes start to get uh, mixed up. Okay, we are putting the red and then the white. So you, as you can see, it's nice to you know it's easy to see that red white and red in order and then we are making a pretzel shape using the left you know making the round with the left part holding it over here i call it the pretzel so i'm holding it at the core of the pretzel just over here and then we are actually holding the right hand side where it comes out which is coming out from the bottom and then we are stepping over we are stepping over this is actually the hardest part and afterwards it gets easy um okay so we're stepping over and then imagine these are three windows bottom window middle window and the top window so we go from the top come over and but then it coming out from the bottom part so we are like it's almost like a saying hello from the window and then it but it goes back in the second window and it comes out again on the third window and then we can just pull the both parts i call it the mickey mouse stage so we'd like the ears to get bigger so we are pulling just the ears just like this holding over here we are pulling these codes, but don't pull all of them at once because it's going to make the shape break. And we are only pulling one by one again. So red, white, and then the red. Same for this side, red, white, and red. Now you should have quite a nice shape. If you want it to be a little bit tighter, you can always tighten, just like this. And then again, red, white and red again red white and red if you if you know if you made it too tight and you'd like to go back you can always use some tools like this 
and then putting it from you know just like this and then you can just start to open up again so it's perfectly fine to redo it and you know get back to the shape that you'd like and also here if you feel one part is a bit too big or too small you can always reshape it and balance it out over here okay we are holding the left hand side all of them make sure that the tips are not so different in the length if it is you can always cut it to make your life easier just like this cut it so you're holding it you have all three from the front to the back you're putting all of them inside hold it with your left hand side with your right hand side we are putting all of them all three into this hole then kind of make a petal shape over here hold it here for the last one instead of pulling them all again just one by one red white and red so now you can you have a a knot called umemusubi okay so now we are cutting this part just like this then cutting again this part then from the back we'd like to glue it so using the glue with a small tip like this just screw a bit not so much and don't worry if it gets all a mess because nobody can see the back side so then using a wooden pegs we are just holding it over here so it's not going to um, lift up just like this and then wait for around 30 minutes for it to dry once it dried and then you can make into jewelries and um, you know accessories and uh, you know you can decorate some cards and make all sorts of things okay and oh if you're making earrings make sure that left and right sides are the same so while you're making it it's always helpful to put it on top of each other to see if one of them is bigger or not and also for the wooden pegs um, if you leave it after you know it's done they will stick with each other so it's always helpful to have some kind of plastic sandwich in between and then the glue will dry and you can always just scrape it off and use the pegs again because i made a mistake that all of my pegs were glued together and none of them open again so be careful with that anyway thanks for joining and i hope to see you soon